It seems like severe weather is making headlines constantly across the country. And when the storms hit Hampton Roads, they often include flooding, as you know. But heavy rain and flooding can do more than just damage your home. ABC's Ginger Z breaks down the potential health concerns. We saw it in Vermont, parts of New York. All this summer, we had some extreme rainfall, and during that, you can get flooding, which then leads to water damage and an increasing risk of mold exposure. There's a new Climate Central report that demonstrates as climate changes and we get more intense storms, there is more of a mold risk. Rising sea levels and increasing potential for flooding in places all across the country also add to that. And exposure to mold can have a variety of health impacts. Generally within two days, you start growing mold in your home. And mold, you know, produces spores and people inhale those spores and people could have health effects from that. Most commonly are things like you know, upper respiratory irritation, you know, your nose and your throat burns. People with allergies or chronic respiratory diseases like asthma might have an increased sensitivity or risk related to mold exposure. To avoid mold after a storm or a flood, experts say that it's important to get your home dried out as quickly as possible. Typically that involves removing a large amount of things like carpets and furnishings that might soak up water. Uh, a lot of times that re that involves removing at least a portion of the drywall that is soaked up water. Van Dyke says that storms are the most frequent cause of water damage. Cleaning your gutters and making sure that water slopes away from your home can help keep it safe. With this Climate Minute, I'm Ginger Z. I think that